Hi, this is the sixth video in our Revit Architecture Elementary course uh, of Unit 5. And uh, last videos that I did, I managed to create uh, partitions and I also opened this hole in this lab. And as if you remember that um, I incorrect incorrectly, I just selected this wall and uh, attached the top of it to the um, to the slab. And as I promise, I'm gonna fix this in this tutorial. It is uh, fair and easy. Just select the wall and hit. If you remember the last time we have attached, uh, it's actually did attach uh, automatically when we uh, rec when uh, we just uh, change or amend the the slab or the floor sketch. So instead of attach, just go to detach and then select the slab. And you can do that on the whole uh, group of walls that we have here to detach them from the floor. And by doing so, we're gonna have like uh, the relationship that we had before that we amend the slab. Now, again, uh, don't forget that it shouldn't, or it's not actually, joined correctly so if you go to the section and zoom in here you will find that that's the wall and that's the slab if you select the slab see it's run through and if you select the wall it's actually joined here that's really strange anyway so uh, it's it is joined actually that's really uh, I wasn't expecting this in here ah oh, in here it's not see this the wall and that's the slab uh, so again let's do that so join this one with this one and that's what uh, we are expecting as you can see here the better relationship so if you go to hidden uh, you're gonna see that uh, that's the wall again and that's the slab running through that to the um, to the end of the wall and that's the that finishes this goes all the way and so that's technically what I want and make sure that you have the same thing in all over the you know the uh, the joint area so for example this one uh, we can do that again so I can join that with this one better that will affect significantly the amount of uh, bill of quantity and the actual material required and again this guy and that should be actually attached to this one so I'm gonna attach to this lab above that's better this one is attached this one is attached this one is attached this one and this one oh, it's okay and this one you yeah, need to join it also so again and join that to this and that's it probably with the existence of more than one section in a different location you can get a better result like the one that I have right now anyway another mistake that I've done or another thing that I forgot to be to do actually is to you know cut that slab and uh, just go edit boundary and immediately Revit will suggest for us to go to a specific views like for example uh, let's go to level one oops to level one sorry and same thing I'm gonna pick lines and this guy this guy this guy and this guy and then hit OK I uh, yes I think so that caused the same problem again it shouldn't say yes anyway so I'm gonna select those walls and then just uh, detach to the slab and here we go now if I look the courtyard should you know like goes all the way down to the end of or to the lowest level which is the ground the ground floor before I go ahead and uh, you know start the actual purpose of this video which is applying windows and uh, just a quick look it's look fine so now let's go ahead and define our uh, windows and then apply them to the to the to the to the building. I will go for the ground floor. Zoom in, and unfortunately, the walls in this section here it block down the AutoCAD drawing that I imported, and it really make the work hard for me. So it's a good idea to come here and choose instead of hidden wireframe. 
and by that I can look through the walls, the rivet walls, into the AutoCAD drawing and I can see, you know, the window. So with a, a simple DI or dimensional line, I can, uh, you know, measure the, with a couple of tabs, I can see the width of my window, which is apparently it's 2000. So, uh, for the purpose of this just basic, again, uh, example of applying the windows, I'll just have any types of windows that it's available actually here. I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on the fixed. Uh, I'm going to use it actually. The width is 2000. Just edit the type and then duplicate and then just use your name and then the 2000 millimeter. And let's assume it's uh, 1200. Hit OK. And then, you know, the height is 1200. Uh, it should have 1000 cell and the width should be 2000 as the name suggested hit OK and then you can apply that here and yep yeah, that's right right to click and create similar or you can use copy whatever you think it's suitable and place it to you know place it to the exact location as I'm doing right now Again, right click create similar and then apply it to wherever it's been, you know, required, like here and like here. Zoom in, yep, correct. And same thing here. And same thing here. I know they are not really exactly aligned to the AutoCAD drawing, so I'll just place them and then with move I'm gonna you know align them correctly to the place that I wanted. Yeah, it's one okay, you just need probably a space to flip that. And zoom in maybe uh, this one is not really in the right spot, so Yep, like that. And this guy probably need a flip with a space to change its location. And I don't need those dimension anymore. So probably create similar or copy. And that's it, I think, for the ground floor. Nope, still this one. That's one. That's two. And that three. So zoom in again. This guy is exactly in the correct place. This guy again need to be moved. So here. And this guy is okay. So that's it for the ground floor. Now, when you place those, it should be uh, following the default cell value, which is here 1000. It's a good idea to check. Sometimes it doesn't, even if you define that correctly, and probably you need to go to any kind of elevation you have and, uh, you know, check if this cell height is actually, you know, correct. It's a good idea to check anyway. So those are the, the windows as we have them here. Been placed correctly, as you can see. Now let's do the same thing in the first, in the level one, actually. So uh, let's go that there. And again, window, and you can't see anything, as we said, so change that into our frame. And that's the first, that's the second. And then third, I'm just placing them without, you know, the exact location that I'm going to return to it so soon. Now that's right. Happy coincidence. This one need 
uh, move here. Need to be moved here. This window again. Need to be moved. Beautiful, that's correct. And this one need to be fixed. Fixed. This guy fixed and so on. here beautiful space space and space so that's it basically that's the windows for level one and again make sure that they are 1000 above the cell uh, above the floor finish which is the cell height and it might be a good idea to go to east elevation or any other elevation to check if that's right and I think it's right because it's uh, 1000 with the perfect height so it's correct anyway that's uh, about it so far so that's our windows as you can see uh, added very easily and really uh, correctly based on the existence of the AutoCAD drawing and you can see here you know the courtyard and uh, looking perfectly with the whole uh, windows to it so that's about it and in the next video I will show you how to make uh, <clears throat> how to make the doors and how to find them and then you apply them to the building so we can continue with this uh, Villa thank you very much and I wish that you uh, find this video useful bye bye